Welcome to our great team of professional employees. We're proud of our company and our employees. Our success is built around quality teamwork and professionalism. Today's short program is an overview of your safety responsibilities to help you perform your job safely. Safety is a responsibility that's important to you, the company, and your fellow employees. Our basic safety policy is simply this. We don't have any job that can't be performed safely. Don't take shortcuts or risks. There's only one way to perform your job. If it can't be done safely, we don't want you to do it. That's our policy and your obligation. Accident and injury statistics compiled over the last 50 years reveal that the majority of all accidents are caused by the unsafe acts of employees, such as taking shortcuts, violating safety rules or job procedures. If the company discovers you've committed one of these unsafe acts, the company will provide counseling on proper job performance. This means you'll be instructed in the unsafe act what action is required by you to prevent similar unsafe acts and the time allowed for you to correct this unsafe behavior. We're serious about safety and expect you to perform every job every day safely. Okay, let's review the basics of job safety. Report to work rested, alert, and fit to give your full attention to the job. Of course, alcohol and drug use is prohibited on the premises, as are the residual results of their use. This policy is established in order to ensure all of our employees have a safe environment in which to work. Violation of this policy can result in termination of your employment. Let's talk a bit about equipment safety. If you're required to operate any type of equipment, wait until you've been trained and authorized. We'll train you regardless of your past experience or familiarity with the equipment. Most of the equipment in the facility has moving mechanical parts that require guarding. Only authorized personnel are permitted to remove guarding for repair or cleaning. If you're an equipment operator, you should make sure all guards are in their proper place before operating the equipment. You should also know the location of all emergency stop buttons, lockout procedures, and the equipment they operate. Of course, never place your hand or any other parts of your body into operating equipment for any reason. It's your responsibility as a machine operator to make sure the area is cleared before you turn the equipment on. Don't leave a machine running that's unattended. Never adjust or perform maintenance on any machine while it's in motion. Use proper lockout procedures. And of course, keep your work area clean. Don't let debris clutter your work area. Should any of your tools or equipment malfunction or become unsafe to use, notify your supervisor immediately. Electrical safety is equally important. Water is an everyday potential hazard in any operation. Therefore, you should be alert for any electrical hazards and never use electrical tools or equipment near water. Report hazards to your supervisor particularly damaged electrical switches, plugs, cords, receptacles, or electrical tools. Most electrical tools and equipment have a third prong on the electrical plug. This prong is a grounding device to protect you from electrical shock in the event of a short or malfunction. Be sure the ground prong is not broken off, as this could result in an injury. Some electrical equipment doesn't have the ground prong as they provide protection from double insulation inside the tool. If the tool does not state double insulated, it must have the third prong or ground on the plug. Okay, let's now review personal protective equipment. Follow company procedures in what equipment is required for each specific job. 
Eye protection comes in many forms, such as a variety of safety glasses, goggles, chemical face shields, and welding eye protection. Your supervisor selects the proper eye protection for the hazard. However, the most important part of eye protection is for you to wear it when it's provided. Dress for work. Don't wear torn or loose-fitting clothing that can get caught in moving machinery. Wear serviceable, leather-topped shoes. Jewelry can easily cause serious injury, so follow your departmental guidelines as to the type of jewelry permitted. Confine long hair under a net or cap. Keep it tied back, as long hair can also get caught in moving machinery. If your job calls for handling rough or sharp parts, wear the proper gloves to protect your hands. When working with chemicals, always wear proper protective clothing and eye protection. Chemicals are to be handled only by employees who have been trained and authorized to do so. There's a material safety data sheet available for each chemical or hazardous material used, which can be obtained through your supervisor. The time to have your questions about hazardous chemicals is before you begin to use them. Remember, these are the basics of job safety. If you're not sure about something, check with your supervisor. Fire prevention is another important part of each employee's responsibility. Don't create conditions that promote fires. Some basic but very important guidelines are that aisles, corridors, and walkways should have at least 44 inches clearance for you to walk. There should be 18 inches of clearance below any sprinkler head, and all electrical panels, transformers, or switchgear must have clear access and nothing within three feet of them, above, behind, to the sides, or in front. These areas should not be considered as storage areas. Learn where fire extinguishers are located and how to operate them. Make sure you know where the exits are located and that they aren't blocked. In the event of a fire, personal safety is the most important concern. Activate the nearest pull station to alert everybody else, notify your manager or supervisor, and then proceed following your property's emergency procedure plan. If time permits and you can extinguish a fire safely, that's the thing to do. However, don't take chances. Follow your property's emergency procedure plan. If there's any doubt about your safety, leave the area and leave the fire suppression activities to the professionals. Now let's review some safety items that require your skill and expertise. These next few tips can reduce accidents if you practice them on a daily basis. Don't use chairs, boxes, or makeshift platforms to reach high places. Use a ladder that is specifically designed for that purpose. Never use a ladder that's broken or defective. Inspect it before you use it. Never stand on the top two steps of any step ladder. Standing on the top two steps of any ladder is dangerous because you overextend the center of gravity of the ladder and it can easily tip over. Don't jump off ladders or platforms step down easily. A sprained ankle or broken leg takes a long time to heal and taking chances isn't worth it. Slips and falls injure more people than any other type of accident. Watch where you're walking and pay attention to potential hazards such as wet or slippery floors, torn carpets or tile. Watch for a change in elevations of the floor and of course do not run at work. It's okay to be in a hurry, but it's not okay to disregard safety and take chances. Use only authorized walkways or aisles, especially in warehouses or around machinery. When you walk up or down stairs, always hold the handrail. In the event you slip or trip, you'll have the handrails to prevent a fall. The next safety tip is how to prevent back injuries. You'll receive more training from your supervisor, but these are the basics. Most back injuries are the result of improper lifting, 
stretching your back muscles, or twisting your back. The back is a complex and delicate part of your body. It's composed, basically, of vertebra or bones, discs, and nerves. The discs act as shock absorbers between the bones and prevent the nerves from being pinched. The basic lifting technique is to keep your discs in their proper position between the bones. When you bend your back, the discs are pinched and can be damaged. You've heard it many times. Bend your knees, not your back. When you lift anything, no matter how heavy it is, get a good grip, bend your legs, and use your leg muscles to lift the load, not your back muscles. We realize there are thousands of lifting requirements that don't always permit you to bend your legs as if you were picking up a box. Just keep in mind how your discs protect the nerves and use leg power, keeping your back as straight as possible. If you can't bend your legs, use one hand to provide additional support for your back or use your legs as a brace for support. Stretching while lifting anything can stretch or tear ligaments in your back. These tears are quite painful and take quite a long time to heal. You can prevent strains by not stretching when you're lifting. Twisting your back while lifting can be extremely dangerous. Remember the discs and bones and nerves? Make it a rule never to twist your body when lifting. You're the only one who can prevent back injuries. If you have the right attitude about safety and think about safety when you're lifting, you can always prevent back injuries. If you are injured on the job, you must report the accident or injury to your supervisor immediately. Even if you think you don't need medical treatment, Report all accidents, near misses, and injuries immediately when they occur. Medical treatment, if required, will be provided. However, supervision and management must be made aware when an accident or injury does occur. As you can see in this short program, safety is really nothing more than common sense and thinking about safety. It's called safety awareness, and it does work. It takes an effort on your part to keep safety foremost in your mind when you perform any job, at work or at home. Safety doesn't slow you down. It doesn't make your job more difficult, and it doesn't require a lot of technical skill. It does prevent accidents and injuries, and makes your job easier in the long run. You're a more professional and efficient employee when you don't cause accidents or injuries. We care about each individual and want you to be successful in your job. Safety is a part of that responsibility. Take the time for safety because it really does make a difference. Thank you.